Hello, this is Eric Wamsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix. Today's video is going to be over multi-node and multi-block expansions inside of a Nutanix cluster. The cool thing is, as you'll see, it doesn't matter if you have one node or a hundred, the process to expand is exactly the same. Also, the hypervisor does not matter, nor does the hardware manufacturer matter. So everything we're about to show you is hypervisor and hardware agnostic. You can see on my screen here, I've already got a four node cluster inside of a single block. This is a 3460 G5. And let's just say I'm running out of resources, I need to expand it. In Prism, just go up to the gear icon on the top right, then go over to Expand Cluster. Acropolis will then do an IPv6 discovery to see if there are any nodes out there that are not a part of a cluster. You can see actually I have two blocks and eight nodes total. You can either add individual nodes like this, or if you want, you can go and add entire block by just selecting the block. Then type in the IP info for your hypervisor, CVM, and out-of-band management, and go to Next. In typical Nutanix fashion, we try to make everything easy for you. So there's actually a lot going on behind the scenes right now. You can see at the top of the screen, it's letting me know that several of my nodes are going to need to be imaged. That's actually because right now they have the ESXi hypervisor installed on them from some of the other videos I recently created. So what I had to do was select the AHV image. You can see I actually already uploaded it. The image is actually available on the uh, Nutanix customer portal. Just go to the download section and then upload the DVD here. If the nodes already had the correct hypervisor on them, it would actually come up with a message saying that no imaging is required. So unfortunately, mine will take a little bit longer because the foundation service is going to have to image the nodes for us, but that's okay because it's nice and it uh, does it automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and hit expand. Then it will take us to a status screen and let us know all the actions that it's doing. And you can even expand that out and look in more details. I'm going to go back to the home screen real quick because I forgot to show you what I have today. So you can see we have 10 terabytes of usable storage, four hosts, one block. And then up at the top you can see that all the status info is also there. But we'll go back and look at the actual status screen inside the expand cluster option. And because Foundation is having to re-image the nodes for us with the hypervisor, it'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to skip ahead. Keep in mind the steps that we just did would work even if you're running Hyper-V or ESXi. You would just need to provide the appropriate ISO images for those hypervisors. Now that our imaging is complete and the cluster expansion is also done, you can see that it's going to go ahead and try and discover nodes and there's no new nodes out there, which is good. Because as you see, we've added them all to the cluster. And then if we go back to the home screen, and see that we have a ton more storage space, right? So we've got 30 terabytes, 12 hosts, and three blocks. So that's all good and dandy. And if we go to our hardware screen, you can see I probably need to do some firmware updates, but now our screen is a very large diagram for us. So we've got all 12 nodes, all three blocks. And even uh, if we go in, you can actually select one of the drives and you can see that data has already started to be offloaded to the newer nodes. And that's one of the beauties of Nutanix. You can expand your cluster at any time in the middle of the day with no downtime, nothing special, just plug and play. And then all the resources and the nodes that you add are available to the cluster as soon as the expansion is complete. So the compute, the networking, and the storage resources all become available. That's how you expand a cluster with multiple nodes and multiple blocks. Again, you can also do the same process to add a single node or a single block. This is also irregardless of hardware or hypervisor. The process is exactly the same. Although you see this is one of the great strategic values of choosing Nutanix is the ability to expand at any time. And you can even expand with different hardware types. So if you need to add storage heavy nodes, compute only nodes, or maybe newer processor generations, you can do that again live with no downtime or issues. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please feel free to check out my other videos on YouTube by going to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter at eWOMS, or you can also go to my website where I post all of my updates, and that is eWOMS.net. Thank you. Have a good one.